Welcome to my channel, Tanglemire Gardens. I'm Nicola. I want to thank everyone who came and had a look at my introduction. I am so impressed with how many people came to have a look at that. Thank you ever so much. And then I thought, well, maybe what you might like to see, actually, are uh, bug hotels in teapots. It's an experiment. I've, I have done it before, two years ago, Let's see how you go. So these teapots I've been able to get from a charity shop. Now they don't have any lids, so they were only going to be thrown away. So sometimes I could get them for nothing, sometimes I might have to pay a dollar or two dollars for them, something like that. But they work brilliantly. Alright, so I'll show you my little pink one, one I've prepared. Alright, so actually they're all, <laughs> they're all done except for this one. Uh, so I've put some gutter guard, which is this, all right, on the top. And the idea of that is you don't want your, your products falling out like that. All right, so that's why I've done that, because before I did, yeah, I used to have them, they would just slide out. As soon as you, you hung your little pot up, they will just slid out. So that's the way to stop that. All right, it allows small bugs to get inside. Um, you know, it's probably easier to see it with that there. See, so it does allow small bugs to get inside. So I thought what we'd do is we'd make one. Now I do like this and it's such a shame. Sorry, we've got mosquitoes around here. Oh, make your skin crawl. Um, so anyway, I thought we'd make this one and it's a, such a shame I don't have the lid because it obviously was a little dragon. Now. I've prepared some of these. So this is just cardboard. All right. Uh, you can use, this is like strips of it, it was a big roll of it. Uh, but you can, of course, just use ordinary pieces of cardboard, roll them up. I've tied them up with uh, some gardening twine because that's nice and natural. And then the idea is that you just place them inside. Now, in a minute, I'll bring you closer and you can have a look at how I actually pack these all right um, without me in the in the frame and uh, you get a better idea of what I'm putting in so I just thought I'd explain what some of these materials are now some I don't know I'm not a land person I'm a water person so I don't really know so but this is a macadamia amazingly enough the shells are actually quite hard but these particular ones have been eaten by rats. <laughs> uh, if I want anything eaten by a rat and given me lovely tooth marks, I stick them down the back um, and let them get to it. Now, these are some form of pine cones. I don't really know which sort. Um, I was collecting uh, little bits of dried product for some uh, of my fantasy houses that I was making. Uh, now I'm not doing that. Um, I decided I would use the product. So this here is a condong. All right, you might be able to just see that. See how it's all so knobbly? It looks very much like a brain. These are purple and they grow up, normally would grow up in the Dane tree. And they're purple, purple fruit uh, and uh, cassowaries. Uh, they eat them <laughs> whole like that. They're just <laughs> amazing. These are so hard to get into. They're very much like the macadamias. Now over here, hang on, let me get them out of the way. I have tried to be a bit organized here, which as you'll learn, is not an easy thing for me. All right, so granted, I do not know the name of these guys. I, I don't. Uh, they did come in sort of like a star of five or six, I think it was. And this one is called an octopus mallee. I love these things. I have thousands of them. I just think they're gorgeous. They make fantastic mushrooms. Uh, so in models, of course. <laughs> so that's them. Then I've got a mixture of just some other little odds and ends of things here. So these are some gum nuts there and these are from she oaks all right 
Then I've, oh, that belongs over there. Just some little pieces of grass, dried grass. And then I've got, uh, where is it? Oh, this was some palm fronds, dried palm fronds is a good one to go. This one here comes from a flame tree. And then it's just pieces of little palms and all sorts of other things that you think might some, a little insect might want to live in. All right, so that's the idea of it. So now what I'll do is um, I'll bring you in closer and you can have a look at what I'm actually. I'm sorry, I'm still not. I'm still getting used to these cameras. Um, I I do apologise when I look away. I keep forgetting to look in the right direction. I will get better. <laughs> All right, so I'll bring you over and you can actually have a look at what it is we're doing. So my idea of putting these cardboard rolls in is to take up space because I did, of course, try this before to see how it went. And um, what I found was that I, f I felt anyway that by putting too much product in there, too much of all of this stuff it compacted down and I felt that a little um, insect wouldn't actually be able to get in there and so that's why I decided to do it this way where this is taking up space they'll still be able to use it but it allows sort of like a bit more space for people to get in there now uh, we'll put a couple of these guys in like down in the long section there in there. I'm trying to show you, sorry. Hang on, I'll get the I'll get the hang of it. I'm having to go look through the camera. And then we'll put some of the octopus Maui's in here. And just have them sitting nice and straight up. Hang on. how to do this all right so we'll just shove them in and then we'll get some of the macadamia nuts put them in so you three three of them some pine cones don't have them too big it does depend of course on your size of your um, teapot this is only a small one some of the bigger ones that I did, of course, you can put more pine cones in there. And then we put some, a couple of the um, kongdongs and maybe another pine cone in there, just to stuff that up a bit. And then what we'll do is, well, get some of these. So we put just a mixture. Oh, that's a bit of plastic. We don't want that, that's for sure. Just a bit of plast um, stuff in there, and then gum nuts, bit of grass, a little bit of that, tuck that in there. All right, so I think that would probably do. Now, I have pre-cut a piece of uh, mesh, all right, gutter guard. So the idea, of course, is if you look at it there, it's just a little bit bigger than the, the actual hole because the idea is you're going to stuff it in there like that. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Twist it. Get it in there. Get a pair of scissors and just move that out a bit. And there we go. We are done. That is it. See? Very good. So when she sits upside on the side, that's how it's going to look. Isn't that lovely? All right. So now what we'll do is we'll go to hang one up. All right. So... What we're going to do is um, place this one 
around about here. I did sort of think about it beforehand, give me some ideas. So I'll put a zip tie around here. I'm trying to keep out your way so you can see what I'm doing. Now, the idea is to get this flat. second and I'm going to use this to keep the actual spout Hang on a second tie it to here get in there and I've doubled it over Right, I'll, I'll trim that later. So I have it like that. So this plant that it's on is actually a uh, dragon fruit. All right, um, and it's been here for goodness knows, probably 10 years or something. Uh, so she's not gonna go anywhere. All right, but you want it nice and flat. The idea being that if any water did get in there, it will drain out through the hole. That's um, that's the plan. All right. So I think that's about right. That looks good. So I'm very pleased with that. I'll bring you in a little bit closer, just to have a look, a side view. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll just go and uh, tie all the rest up, and then I'll show you what they are. All right. So I have tied them all up. Now I've given them different locations because I would like to see how they go. So I have the nice white one here. All right, so that's just near the back door. It's in a protected space. There's um, a gazebo across here. So we'll have a look at that one. And then if we go into this one, this is the most protected space because this, um, is actually all that grey stuff is actually um, waterproof shea cloth so this will not get wet at all so it doesn't matter about having it uh, angled down we can have it any way we wish because it won't get wet at all so we'll see who comes into there so that's that one and then if we go down here and we've got the pink one over in the corner that's out in the elements, that one. And then I place these two here. So this is a lemon myrtle tree. You can actually eat, uh, sorry, not eat, but put these um, leaves in a tea. They're very good for your lemon myrtle. So there we go. So we have the two of them hanging there and we'll certainly see how that goes. Now, if I show you here which is the very first one I did over two years ago. Now it rained last night. Ooh, the ants are out. Oh, lovely. I wonder if we can get in and have a look. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? Now the interesting thing is they're little black ants. They are not what was living in there about five days ago. I have a video of them which I shall put up of who was living in there before. And I did notice that they were actually moving out. And now these fellows have moved in. So isn't that wonderful? Now I wonder if we can get in here. This is one of my teapots. This is the one that's actually got the ants nest in it. And even me being here has upset them. They're starting to come out. I'm not going to get any closer. I won't be able to sort of get a close up of who they are because they move so fast. 
They're living actually in a peach tree. Let me go in the front. See if we what we can get there. So that's the front of their little house. They do come out of the spout as well. If you were to disturb this, which I'm not going to do, but if you did, they would come pouring out the, the front of it. So these are the little guys that I've just left sitting in this little teapot as a house. So there we go. We actually have some people it's living in our pot new occupants so isn't that fabulous i'm just glad that someone's using them um, i think it's a really brilliant idea i don't know if it's going to work it is an experiment please remember that all right <laughs> i don't really want just ants living in all my stuff but you just don't know so anyway i would like to thank you very much for um coming to see me and see what I'm doing my very first uh, official video of showing you something that I would like that I've been making and uh, I certainly hope to see you again so thank you very much for stopping by thank you <laughs>